How do you do? We are about to unfold the story of the son of Frankenstein. This one is probably just as bad as his father. Good morning, sir. My son, you have inherited the fortune of the Frankensteins. I trust you will not inherit their fate. By heaven, I think you're a worse fiend than your father. What are you going to do about it? There's a monster of what you know it. Well, we've warned you. You've been warned. Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute, the podcast that dissects the Universal Frankenstein film series <laughs> minute by minute. I'm Bill Evenson. And I'm Tom Lang, and you join us for Minute 83 of 1939's Son of Frankenstein. 83. Who knew? Yeah, that's that's over that's, an hour now. Yeah. We're, we're over the <laughs> one hour mark, <laughs> by my math. You should say, okay, well. Like hour know? 15 or more. Yeah, that's a long way. That's a long ways to go. Krogh and Kranz whisper to one another as Amelia looks on, concerned, uh, continuing down the steps with Peter. Yeah. Because she that's looks over and she's, she's watching them like, what the hell is going on? Uh, that's probably correct. But I looked at it and I thought that she was like, we're going to get hot chocolate. Like, what, you let go of Peter's right the, hand. You think I can do this hell? on my own? Yeah. I got, you were helping me. Handle this brat by for myself. For sake. So we, for some, for whatever reason, for an unknown reason, they're whispering to each other. So so the so Krantz, when he's not prancing, is whispering to uh, Krog at on a landing in the stairs. Yeah, Krog is on the landing. There's a bit of a landing. There's a couple of landings. There's a lot going on here. There's, there's, yeah. And whatever it is that they're talking about is so important and super secret that he whispers it to him, and then he goes down a couple more Krog stairs, and then you go, oh, they oh, whisper some whoa, more. Whoa, wait, yeah. No, I got more. Wait, did you say? Oh, do you did say? Yeah. So whatever this is, it's it's incredibly important, and it's I think it's just Krog just trying to get out of having hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> He's if like, I do this, <laughs> yeah. send in somebody. Send in Krantz. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Doesn't matter. He can prance in. I don't yeah, care. Doesn't matter. Obviously, they're talking about the murder of Lang. But is that? I would think so. Okay. Why else would Krogh have to leave? Because right. we had that shot a couple minutes ago of the Una O'Connor wannabe shrieking her head off. Yeah, true. Uh, so up until that point, they didn't know that uh, I had actually Lang had been that. karate chopped. Maybe I should watch this movie. It because might not be I a bad forgot- idea. <laughs> I had forgotten that, that, <laughs> that there was still one murder to go. Yeah. Okay, because my thought was, uh, I don't know. I can't even oh. imagine what's so important. Oh. But the other thing is, why would they, I suppose, in front of a lady? In front of a lady. In, in front little, of the hell. kid, in front of a little kid, yeah, yeah true. Like just All for right. discretion's That's sake. That's fair. So this is about Lang. I remember. I remember. I remember. Krogh starts to run off, turns and salutes to Peter. Yeah, he does almost run off. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, wait. He remembers. Yeah. Well, well, and then he does something with his hand. Is he putting wait. his monocle in? No, he's saluting. He is saluting? Yeah. Okay. Because there's uh, more to say about that. Salutes and I, I don't remember, but I think he clicks his heels too. Sorry, young man. I shan't be able to take chocolate with you today. I like shan't. That's a good yeah, word. Yeah, I know. I should bring that back. Yeah. Um, he said, chocolate with you today, but the word today is left off the subtitles for reasons unknown. Yeah, man. Just trying to conserve space. <laughs> well, yeah, because that's a big. They're long... eighty-three minutes into this too. You yeah, know? they're like, oh, <laughs> he's still talking to the kid. Typing on. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, did somehow, say jump? What, 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 what the hell is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was in there. I thought he was in the library. Uh. Tell your father and mother who are within earshot because they look up. Yes. Because the, the library is cut back to right, the library right next set. door. So you and I both think that it's this foot of the stairs, and I think we see it in an in earlier shot, way earlier. There's a rug yep. to the right of it. To the right, screen right. and then Which is the, which just is in the doorway enters, of the, to go into the yeah, library. Yeah, so they're hearing all this. Yeah. Tell your mother and father, I'll be back soon. Very soon. Yeah, yeah. So he's trying to be intimidating, presumably. I mean, why well, else would I you say soon? Very soon. soon. Why would you say that to Peter? Yeah, you wouldn't. Because he wants hot chocolate? I mean, yeah. it's about, it's. yeah, he's trying he's to be trying intimidating to... by proxy. He's yeah. hoping Peter will go in and be like, I General know. says. He be back, he be. <laughs> Actually, I think I wrote something. Let's see. Oh, my screen locked up. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, the General be back very soon. That's what he wants him to say. We should get Scott Adson to, uh, to... <laughs> be back very soon. Record. Very soon. Record these. Yes. Uh, goodbye, General. He salutes back. Yeah. Uh, so it is Krog- a salute then. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Krogh then turns to the gendarme who or to Kranz, uh, tells him to remain on guard. And then Krogh starts to walk and his arm is still in the salute pose. And I just wish 
What? They would have done like the, like no the ratchet sound? like uh, in Young Frankenstein when he can't get he it can't down. Can't get it down. <laughs> he's just yeah. muttering to himself trying to get the God arm. Damn it, the fucking thing. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> so I thought he was. But he does swing too. it. He does swing it back down. To he does a bit. Yeah, but he's like halfway across the room. He's already yeah, happens. Yeah. Which is great too because that's clearly an at will moment. He's he's in the role. He's mm-hmm. not he's not throwing his arm down. He's he, I guess he is having trouble. Otherwise he would have put it down earlier. Or else oh, no, I think or just, else it's even more that he he kind of forgets it's there because it's not his arm. Yeah, because he's just kind of like oh shit. You know he's got to go deal with this this new situation that's come up. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, it's not utmost on his mind to put his arm back down. And by contrast, it is utmost in at will's mind as the actor because to he actually keep, bothers. Yeah to do all he has to yeah. yeah and i said to so i said to jackie i thought well, as we were watching it, that that's exactly what you just said he salutes and then as he's walking away maybe he forgets or or whatever oh, he can't. Yeah, oh yeah that's yeah. why i gotta put this down but she said he's putting in his monocle so i don't know They're, those are very similar things i think it's there the whole time what his the monocle, monocle is okay yeah. or maybe he's adjusting his monocle of course you wouldn't do that you wouldn't with do that fake. with a fake arm yeah all right. Either way, it's weird, but it's not weird. It's no, good. I think it's, it's no. I think he's saluting because he's you know he, he treats that he, he treats Peter like an equal or you know he likes when Peter calls him general. Yeah. yeah. But I think he's not treats him as an equal, but shows him respect. Right. So I think that's just part of it is the saluting. Yeah. This suddenly got me thinking: Was this what inspired Donnie to become a great military leader? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Was he like, yeah, I want to. I want to get I be a people, gendarme. People salute me. <laughs> I want well, some I like, gendarmes. I like that. Yeah, yeah, because he was a highly decorated war hero who served who what, disappeared three while, tours in yeah. a brothel in Paris. Sean Flynn and him just went I don't missing. Know what's happening right now? Oh, it's that, uh, it's uh, Errol, Errol Flynn's, Flynn's son, son who disappeared during the Vietnam War. Well, you know a lot war. of people that dis- really. It's not safe to know me, Bill. You might wanna, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're going to no, be all right. disappear eventually. I think you know. There's nothing much. What do you think happened to hold? my first wife? I well, mean, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, nobody ever heard from her again. Nope. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm oh. starting to put the pieces together. <laughs> He's the basis of the uh, Dennis Hopper character in Apocalypse Now. Is Sean Flynn? Yeah. Okay. To some degree. I don't think he was that spaced out. <laughs> I hope not anyway. I don't but, know. But he did disappear. Okay. And all right. Well, let's see. You, I don't know these things. I don't. I, I guess I got to get up on these disappearances. Yeah. Hey, I watched In Search Of, so I know. I guess. This, yeah. I must have been it. Boy, yeah. Nimoy really had your... You really uh, nailed it. You really nailed it. Krantz, did he smoke in that show? Or just uh, when they turned off the cameras? Nimoy? Yeah. I don't think he smoked on camera. No, he's Um, not Rod Serling. There you uh, go. Who's the other guy? Edward R. Murrow. Edward R. Murrow is another one. Yeah. Who was the first host of The Tonight Show? Jack Parr. Oh, no, Steve Allen. Steve Allen. Steve Allen was the first. Yeah, he smoked. Krantz, remain here on guard. So I love this, as I didn't notice it until preparing for this. Um, (laughs) What Krantz does after that. No, what does he do? He stares down Amelia. <laughs> like honestly, like, <laughs> like he's <That's> fantastic. <laughs> you should maybe watch you it want, again. You better See watch yourself. Yeah. <laughs> It really does. He's doing it with his fingers. Seriously, let's. Would it? Is it out of control to, I, to just go back I, to that? We don't want to. I don't already. Wreck. I already oh, closed. I saw it. this. I thought meant that minute was still open. Well, that the app is, but not that particular oh, okay. minute. No, I'd have to find it. All right, but yeah, yeah go back doing, and watch he's it. He's doing the two finger yeah, point totally at his eyes and at hers yeah. and back and forth. Because you think maybe he looked down at the kid or something, but he knows he stares down at me <laughs> and she looks back at him like, "What? What, what the, the fuck? Hey, man, problem? take it easy. Jeez, you want some <laughs> hot chocolate?" Okay, so then this was what I was asking before: is where are they? And I guess this one's easy. We all know. Well, and as but I think it's funny is as Krog is walking towards the door, yeah. Fritz is still there at the door. It looks like he's almost starting to run, like he's not supposed to be in the shot. It, okay, it cuts before, but it looks like he's gonna run. Okay, so it's weird. Okay, because it cuts. It's a two shot of uh, Atwill and or Krog and Kranz, and then it's the wider shot as he is walks. Is when Fritz doesn't know Fritz, what to do. Fritz is like, oh shit. I'm I'm not supposed to be here. Okay. Or that's what it looks like anyway. Well, I mean, I, what else? He has or no Or maybe, role. you know, I mean, logically, you could say within the context of the movie, he's going to get Krogh's cloak. Put okay, on. there you go. And that, that makes more sense. Look at you. See? Yeah, I figured it out. Man, this is why we do this. I'm now going to figure out what happened to Sean Flynn and Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart and 
D.B. Cooper and yeah. Glenn Miller and yeah. uh, was who, who was it that was missing? Oh, Benson. Yeah. What happened to Benson? Did we ever figure that out? Well, I guess it's a mystery. Yeah, it's a mystery. So then this is why I was asking where... Where everybody is. Where everybody is. Because we had a scene where there was a fireplace and uh, Wolf was throwing a glass into the fireplace. That, and that's on the other side of the fireplace in, that you can see in this yeah, room. Yeah. So... Because uh, that leads to where they have the table so, where they're eating. So, so that's the front all, door is in the back. Look at it as kind of like an L shape, I think. So as you're looking at the front door inside... So it's, if you're looking at the front door from inside... So, so from where the camera is is in the long shot. Yeah, right. Okay. So I think the library is just to the right of the stairs. That's what I think. And then if you go to the left slightly, then those two fireplaces that face each other and the table is right there. So if you come in the front door and you walk up to the fireplace, it's on your right, uh-huh. if you come in the front door, and you wanted to take a sh- quick shortcut to have breakfast, you could go through that fireplace. Yes, you take you a right and go through, through, the, through the, fireplace. the fireplace. And I, you probably could because it's huge. It's you massive, just, yeah. Yeah. Just jump the fire. Yeah. Of course, I couldn't because I would just fall face first into the fire. <laughs> There's no question. Charred beyond recognition. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. put out the dental records and. Yeah, it would be a dental records. Yeah. Uh, identification. Uh, identification situation. Sure, at that sure. Point. Yeah. I'm lucky in that if I'm ever burned beyond recognition, I got enough metal in me that it'll still. And I'm getting more in February. Yeah. It'll be easy to recognize. Oh, is the sternum wired together? Yeah. Were there little stints laying around? Yeah. It's a fake shoulder? Yeah. Well, that's him. Sternum wired together. So my depending on the on the heart surgery you get. Yeah. So when I when I was a kid, my dad had open heart surgery, and five years later they had open heart surgery on TV. Do you remember this? It was a big TV event. Yeah. Now yeah. you know five yeah. years later it was common. It was on. They had a channel probably devoted to yeah. it. Yeah. But one of the things we noticed was they just basically pull out a saw. Yeah. To break and slice and the, because they have to the breastbone, and then they pull it apart like a like, like a Sam Raimi movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was uh, it's yeah. pretty gruesome, and it's pretty great if it doesn't happen to you. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. They, they were smart because when I had the, the actually bike, more like a uh, not a Sam Raimi, but more like a, um, a, a Romero movie. Yeah, it probably does happen something like that. Anyway, we were watching the Cabinet of Curiosities. The Guillermo del Toro yeah. has a series on Netflix, and okay, yeah, one of them the guy's performing multiple autopsies, and he's got like it's like a garden shears just clipping the ribs, but takes like a heart shape out of it. Wow. But but yeah, this I saw. They were smart. Is when I had the surgery, they didn't show me anything beforehand. They kind of went over what's going to happen. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. But watch this. After, watch, wait, watch this. No, a- <laughs> afterwards, it's like here's a video of what 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 we did. Of you? No. Okay. It was most, be... most of it was animated, but there were some real. And it's probably why. Imagine that job animating that. Oh, uh, I had to do one of my freelance jobs was to do illustrations for an instruction sheet on using an enema, and they had reference photos. <laughs> Yep. What a shitty job. It was, yes. Anyway. Somebody had to say it. Yeah. <laughs> where, All where, right. where, where the hell are we? I don't even know. So here's the point I was trying oh, to make. Oh, yeah. was I wanted to understand where, because, uh, where uh, uh, Elsa and, uh, and uh, Wolf are in relationship to... Uh, Krantz and Amelia. But it's easy. They're basically in the next room. They were just right there. Yeah. Well, that kind of, you know, when Croak says, uh, tell your father and mother I'll be back very soon, very soon, <laughs> is he saying that knowing that they can hear him? Oh, I think so. Yeah. It makes se- more sense than, did mommy and daddy degenerate said he come back very soon? <laughs> Yeah, I think he, I could because probably that's why do I a Peter think, if I worked hard enough. But it's worked, hard. You, you once you get started, you he's got so many things that make him a weirdo that it's hard <laughs> yeah, to it's know hard where to, to go. Hard to stay and in that rhythm. Dandy, I'm getting from the film because yeah. he says that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I think uh, Scott Adsit did a fantastic uh, job. job. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> No, I think that's why he says very soon, the way he very says soon. very soon. Yeah. It's some gravitas to it. It's actually kind of a uh, you know, kind of a pussy move to be like, I'll be back very soon. Oh, oh yeah, right. Okay, whatever, buddy. You yeah. wouldn't you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's a, it's a, if someone's too boisterous, too threatening, then you know there's nothing behind it. And he's not going to be back very soon because no, uh, the right. next thing that gets said, now I can go to the lab. Yeah. So we cut and, we we lapped it all. <laughs> we, cut, <laughs> we cut to the library. Yeah. And yeah. And Wolf, Wolf was getting a big boner because he can go to the lab. Yeah, and so he says, I really like this a lot. He says, now I can go to the lab. I mean, and so he she, catches well, himself. she gasps and looks at him. Yeah, so she's, she's like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? And he says, I mean, I must go to the lab. So I, I love that. That this is, It's this not is, any better. <laughs> he doesn't change anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, now I can go to the lab. I mean, I must go to the lab. I mean, no, I not mean, the lab. I, mean, I, I have to go bury Benson. I mean, I have to. I gotta put all those watches in. I mean, fuck. I just gotta go. I have to strangle Peter. I, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you would smother Peter, though, right? You wouldn't strangle Peter. Yeah, I think that would be the. the I mean, I don't like him. Like, what, <laughs> what, if you're gonna murder someone, right? Is smothering them an easier way to do it so you don't have to see their face? Um, yeah, you feel guilty? usually if somebody is. From what I understand from watching all these. Okay. And not from personal, personal experience. experience. I want to make that. That's right. Thank you. Because I've never. Nope. I nope, love the legalese. Never done it. Yeah. But if somebody you is. can't prove it. Strangled. It's usually by somebody that knows them intimately because it's a very intimate act. To me, that's two opposite intimate acts. To smother somebody is maybe to say, I, I mean, I can't handle this. I, I, I can't look at you well, true. in the face. Yes. Whereas but, strangling is the opposite But to they me. come from the same emotion. Sure. It's just how you're equipped to make it happen. So you don't have the intestinal fortitude to watch them die before your eyes. I see. So this is, okay, Peter is the perfect example of that. So <laughs> you would strangle Peter. I think I would. And I would smother Peter. I think so. Okay. I think that Because I'm a pussy. We have the same emotion. Right. It's just how we express we it. We feel, yes. We, we feel we, Peter must die. So. But it's not like Peter must die for $400,000 insurance money. No. Peter must die because of it's, it's all emotion. That's Absolutely. the only reason. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Why were we talking about that? Oh, because we went off on a tangent about Wolf oh, making, right. making up really lame elements. Uh, I mean, I mean the lab. I mean not the lab. I mean the lab. Yeah. I mean I don't know. Only for a minute. Peter. Leave me alone. Shut up, bitch. Yeah. Only for a minute. Won't be long, really. Like that. That doesn't help. You're still going to the lab. What the fuck? Yeah, he has, he gives her no reassurance whatsoever. Yeah, no, He's no, basically no. physically ex- escaped her bonds. Sphere of, you know, whatever. Sphere of influence. Like, I, I just physically pushed her and away, he, and I'll and say he cannot anything. run away from her fast enough. No. Either. Into the lap dissolve. Which I think is, uh, you know, it's all in keeping with what I was saying, I think, maybe last week, that he's got his mission, and she's incidental. Yeah. And so now it's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, the lab. I'm out uh, of the lab. Ah, uh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. And then he's but out. Basically, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does nothing to You'll be fine. Assage her Go fears. eat some chocolate. Yeah. That's what he should have said. Yeah, right. Have, have chocolate with the kid. <laughs> you can have mine, dear. There's marshmallows. The little ones. I bought you the little ones. He's running. He's running laugh. shouting as he's going. <laughs> the little cute ones. <laughs> <laughs> Shouting to her from the other room. For the rest he's of the outside, <laughs> shouting, tripping and falling as he's still shouting. I, I, back I'm not it. acting strangely, dear. It's just that I'm I, I've been under a lot of stress. And, <laughs> you're working really hard. Excuse me. You'll be I've been really, working really hard lately. Fuck. Ouch. God damn it. Fuck. You'll be really impressed when it's done. I promise. It's all for you. <laughs> it's all for you, Damien. Hey, Elsa. <laughs> Okay. Wow, I, we are getting really... We've, uh... Whew. Okay, we'll, uh, then it lapped us off. Then lapped us all. Oh, it's about Thank time. You. Good God, it's Yay, been a few minutes. we made it to lap oh. dissolve number Woo. 812. Yep, uh, he's descending the ladder into just cave next to the well, where does pit. Where does cave lead? Well, we'll... we'll oh, we'll that's right. Out. We have to find out. Well, he yet. goes okay. into the cave. What do you think of that ladder? It does not look safe. It doesn't look safe, plus the bottom rung. He, he awkwardly has to go down. Oh, there should be one more rock. Yeah, there should be, yeah. yeah. He's, he's... But that's all great. No, there's no complaints here. It's, no, it I think the aw- awkwardness suits the, the yes. situation. Because yes. he's never gone down there before. Because it's not a ladder. It's something fucking Igor, Igor... put together, probably. Yeah, cobbled Cause together. Because it looks like cobbled together. In fact, yeah. it looks like it's made. it looked like it might have been, been through the fire. Or maybe it's been burnt by oh, the, the fact the, that the it began. The fact that it's 4,000 <laughs> fucking degrees <laughs> in there. And he does glance back like, oh, oh that looks bad. <laughs> yeah. Did you notice? That he does look back at the... That workmanship is pretty shiny. No, I don't mean that. I mean, he gets... Oh, no, no, sorry. He, he, he does, the, look he does look back into, into the sulfur, sulfur pit. pit. Yes, but it's really incidental. Like, oh, yeah, the sulfur. That's right. I got to make sure not to fall yeah, into the sulfur uh, pit. Yeah, That's right. I got to make sure not to die. Burn to death or choke on the fumes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what's that smell? Maybe that was it. So that's really cool that that ladder and and again it being all awkward and stuff and is, adds I, to yeah, it. The are it adds to angles. everything that we see in this movie. Yeah, everything I mean, about there, there this really place. not a lot of right angles to any of the architecture yeah. in here. Yeah, this is a cool shot. Yeah, I mean this set is they're all cool. cool shots, I guess. But I mean it is a very handsome looking film. I have yes. to say yes, and I think it would have looked really cool in color. Sorry, everybody who oh my goodness gets all bent out of shape. Boy, you're really it. going out on a limb. No, I think it would have been. 
been kind of cool to have yeah, a color film been, in the yeah. in the canon. Yeah, not not me, but I I, I don't I mean, care I, that much. No one loves black and white films more than I do. Right. I just want to make that clear. But it would have been a nice change. It would have been a nice. But then then they would have all been color, or would no, it be the exception? I mean, no, this would be the exception. I think. Yeah, because then they, it might stand out even more. So. Well, it's true. And and, and well, but maybe elevated. It would, maybe it would. Interesting. Yeah. Might have elevated it. Yeah. You know what else? Uh, uh, you, the last time we used that word, I think we were referring to. I don't know if you remember because it's been a while. But this film used to have Bella Lugosi in it. Yeah, it did. That's we've right. Been gone for we've a been while. Gone for a long time. Yeah, we've been walking mm-hmm. back and forth between the library and the bar and the darts <laughs> and all. That. I mean, I don't. Yeah, and the and the the little kid with his with his boat boat, boat train and, and the watch. Anyway, um, where are we headed? Just cave. Headed just cave. Okay. Frankenstein's having a snooze in Just Cave. Yeah, he comes around the corner. He's like, oh, Jesus. And there's a Frankenstein movie. Boris Karloff is in this movie. Karloff's in this movie. Yeah. And he's... (laughs) (laughs) He really is. Yeah. He doesn't... Yeah. He really... It's very silly. He's He's sleeping on the floor. He's laying on the floor. So this guy who was on a slab... bed in the slab And he moved to the bed and... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's a mess. That's all right. Well, you... You know... That's fine because it has to happen this way. He's wearing like a sleeping bag, basically. Basically. So maybe that matters. Yeah. Yeah, That makes it easier. Kind of what Carl said, too, because it was very cumbersome and... Cumbersome? Not comfortable? No, not at all. Because he's padded quite a bit more than previous films. Yeah, he looks huge. Yeah. And I think some of that is to counterbalance that Rathbone is taller than him Mm -hmm. but I think everything in this movie is bigger and everything in Bride is bigger than in Frankenstein and everything in this is bigger than Bride and everything after this gets smaller and smaller and smaller the ghost of Frankenstein must be just the biggest we'll have to see how it goes Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I I do have to say it's a really cool look at Frankenstein like he's doing it minute by minute again I mean it I haven't seen Boris Karloff in a long time so it's like oh yeah look at that well, the last time really cool. we saw him, it was only a shadow. Yeah, right, right. And so, but he looks really cool. It's just a different angle. But mm-hmm. he looks, it, it, it's, I guess I feel like this movie's sort of winding down. We've only got 20 weeks to go, <laughs> or whatever it is. So, even that's not true, right? Mm-hmm. No, 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 it's less than that. What am I saying? It's, it's uh, 14 than... weeks left. No. What are we at, 83? It's like 17 weeks. Okay, 17 weeks. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Boris Karloff will leave us and not mm-hmm. be the monster again. Yeah. Or, sorry, not be Frank. <laughs> <laughs> you won't play Frank. Not be, won't play Frankenstein again. But there is some interim. Unless things. we do the celebrity the, ball game yeah. minute and the route the Route sixty six sixty six minute, minute and the whatever happened to the scene from uh, Secret Life of Walter Mitty minute. Oh sure sure we can do that minute by minute. I think he looks he looks really good in that. I would have really loved to have seen that because you yeah. know the stills exist of the yes they, they got permission from Universal to use the makeup and to use Jack Pierce. Right. Is that why? Because i got to be honest, when I've seen that picture, probably the first time I saw it, I thought, okay, this must be from... He really looks like the monster. Yeah, he, he looks really great. Does. He looks yeah, fantastic. He looks fantastic, yes. Yeah. Really. yeah, he looks so better than he does in this, s- I think. Yeah, maybe. Because yeah. the forehead is a little more reasonable. It's more like it was in the original. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, he's laying there having a snooze. He, uh, Wolf is startled by that. Mm. We asked, which you might be. Which I, you know, I, I guess. I mean, he knows he's around. Yeah. But he didn't I suppose just didn't expect him to see. He's startled him. is yeah. the right word. He, yeah. he didn't expect to see Frankenstein in that room. <laughs> yeah. And Wolf looks around and picks up a large rock as Igor creeps into the frame from screen right. Yeah. You made it. If you were just watching this minute, you might not even notice. You might it. not see Igor. But um, yeah, I do. And I noticed Jackie did. So, yeah, yeah. eventually you do. Yeah. You, you, whatever. Is, yeah. He's in the last second of this Yeah, of this basically. Uh, question. Yeah. Can you... This is my question. That sound of the theme song. Yeah, I have a question oh, is this, for is Wise this, Ass. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Any more questions of Wise Ass? Can you kill Frankenstein with a big rock? My answer would probably be maybe. Does he ever get hit with a big rock? Mm-mm. Shit falls on him. Like yeah. Beam falls on beams. him. Beams. He gets hit by beams. And uh, moving forward, he gets hit lot. by multiple beams, doesn't he? Because he's already we've already seen him get hit by a beam. Yeah. Oh, and the castle. The castle fell on falls him. on him. That's pretty harsh. So yeah, my guess is <laughs> that's no. That's pretty harsh. Okay. I mean, unless you took the rock and like smashed his head in. I think that's the goal. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably. Isn't that what you think? He, you think he was gonna throw? Drop it on his leg. I don't know. I don't know. With Wolf, you never Hit know. Hit him in the dick with it. <laughs> yeah, that'll show him. <laughs> 
<laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> it's like your father didn't give me a dick. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, man. All right. So now that's that's it for wise ass. I'm the wise oh, ass. Are you the this wise week. ass this week? Yeah, so what do you? What is your answer ass. then? Ah, uh, I think you could. Uh, so the question, as I asked it, is can you kill Frankenstein with a big rock? The answer is uh, unknowable. But I think if you did crush his head, he would be. You, then he'd be manageable. Like he wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> Still wouldn't he wouldn't have, stand he wouldn't up a, and. He wouldn't have a head, but. Right, but I don't think he would then stand up with part of a head or whatever would be <laughs> left of him and then, you know, karate chop you. No. But maybe. I, I guess know. I don't really know what his how his system works. We're not we're not privy to all no, the all the new shit. All the <laughs> all the you know notes. <laughs> the, the inner workings of a Frankenstein. How I did it, or what was this? Yeah, is, is that what it's called? Okay. Yeah, uh, I always yeah. get it mixed up with "If I Did It" by O.J. Simpson. <laughs> Do you remember that <laughs> yes. book? Yes. Because it never came out, but then it came out the exact same it, book, but it was titled it was, "I Did It" or something. Like, how I did yeah. it, or something like that. Yeah. All right. Piece of shit. Yeah, that guy's not good. He's a bad guy. He is a bad guy. Excellent uh, running back. Is that so? Oh yeah. Uh, Was he untouchable? Oh, okay. He's still recording. Yes, he's uh, he was a world class running back. He won the Heisman Trophy in college, and then uh, I guess I don't know what that is, when he played for the Bills, he uh, he had the best season probably anybody's ever had. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty good. Okay, so it's not a complete waste of time. No, I mean he's a piece of shit. So you got it's like it's like it's not like, like Kanye right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that Hitler was a swell fella. Yeah. 